아이로브로스 Morning, guys. Morning, sir. All right. Uh, welcome you all for the uh, tremendous sessions of uh, webinar series. Conduct AU BIT MBA. Myself, Dr. Thirumal Arghun, the organizing secretary of uh, uh, Connect at AU BIT MBA webinar series. Uh, hope uh, everything is going fine. Uh, I'm just uh, ensuring. your safetyness uh, due to this uh, uh, covid pandemic i once again welcome you all on behalf of our department of management studies uh, this may be an official or a formal um, what we say it as uh, welcome address and uh, i thank uh, especially the authority who have approved to conduct this type of uh, webinar series uh the vice chancellor the registered respected register respected dean respected uh, head of the department for all uh, there is a very big thanks uh, for uh, supporting us in conducting these type of seminars as well as webinars right uh, first of all i have to uh, give some introduction related to the uh, core objective of uh, this particular webinar series it have been planned for the whole january month every week you will have a um, session in a different topic with a different uh, resource persons um, where uh, the the core idea is uh, disseminating knowledge in uh, industry as well as uh, in academic field apart from your uh, day to day mba subjects so uh, this uh, webinar series aims to share an experiential learning about uh, the academic and the industrial practices across nations uh, the series helps to learn more and a better in every aspect of management and people skills as per the requirement of the industry so that's the uh, very big uh, idea behind this connect at aubat mba so this webinar series if you have registered yes right um so this is our plan actually uh, so every week you will get your uh, uh, notification related to the webinar what we are going to uh, conduct and most probably we have a plan to extend this webinar series in the month of uh, february also uh, so for people from uh, uh, academic as well as from uh, industry side uh, they will share their knowledge in order to excel yourself in um, the area of management as well as in people skills so that's with uh, this brief um, uh, introduction about uh, the objective of our webinar series uh, connect at au bat mba i'm here to uh, deliver or uh, introduce our uh, resource person for this session uh, the topic for uh, today's uh, webinar series is connect at au bat mba webinar series webinar number 1 trends in digital marketing and uh, i am very proud to introduce the chief guest dr g tyagarajan hope you have been in the tyagarajan sir sir are you there yeah can you can you see me can you hear me yeah i can i can i uh, you just uh, um, open your uh, video <laughs> i can hear yeah, you yeah. but i can't see your yeah 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 hey i i opened it uh, is my is my friend a close friend we have uh, graduated our uh, mba in uh, adivarasakti engineering college by the year of uh, 1996 to 98 um to say more about him formally as a resource person here is a uh, uh, some briefing about about uh, dr g tyagarajan He is a MBA PhD holder. He has completed his 
PhD in Satyabama University. Uh, his research area is uh, reverse logistics. He is actually a techie. Uh, he has contributed uh, more than uh, 17 years in uh, IT industry, uh, especially in uh, uh, 7 years in uh, Tech Mahindra, uh, 3 years in Accenture, sorry, uh, 10 years in, 10 years, then, correct? Uh, 10 years in Tech Mahindra, 3 years in Accenture, 5 years in HTC. So why, with this wide knowledge, he just entered into um, his own uh, um, digital hub. He is the co-founder of Digital Prosperity Hub. And uh, as I said, he is having more than 20 years of um, IT experience. And for the past three years, he is helping people to start their own online um, digital enterprises. And uh, he has a mission, a very good mission. I am uh, proud enough uh, to say his mission that uh, he has a mission to help uh, one crore uh, entrepreneurs to start um, their own uh, digital enterprise. So that's the uh, core uh, mission of uh, uh, Dr. G. Tyagarajan. I am uh, really happy to introduce him. Uh, you, can, you can get a wide knowledge related to digital marketing, what's all happening in uh, the industry, uh, what the industry is expecting it. How can we uh, transform our uh, uh, business. If you have uh, an idea of uh, starting your business after your uh, graduation, definitely this will help you. And he will give a technical support also in future uh, course of um, action, I think. Uh, without this concept, uh, um, based upon uh, my friend, I am just uh, communicating this. He will be hey. in a... Yes, you will know? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's the thing, right? <laughs> with, with this... Um, what is a trust towards you? I am just... Uh, Briefing it, uh, I'm just handing over this session to uh, Dr. Jeet Yagarajan and we will continue our uh, session related to the emerging trends in digital marketing. Okay, uh, the, the platform is to uh, Dr. Jeet Yagarajan. Thank you, thank you one and all. Be patient, you can, you can post your queries. Uh, as well as um, you can you can post your doubts after uh, the uh, session uh, ends, right? Uh, please, uh, participants, please mute your mic as well as your video so that it will be very comfortable for both the organizers as well as for the uh, resource person. Thank you, one and all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. I can see see your skin. Yeah. You just make it. Yeah. Guys, guys, uh, are you clear with uh, the screen of um, uh, Dr. Jeet Yagarajan? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, you can. Uh, you. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, for the session. Uh, see, uh, what I want to say today is more on like uh, what you are looking for. You know, what is your goal in your life? Or how you have to uh, prosper in your life? By means of like you should have some goal so that is the whole purpose of how to uh, narrow down channelize yourself towards your goal and then reach your goal again. so in that like digital marketing how it is going to help you that is what i am going to speak on how to start an online enterprise that will be covering all those things in my journey okay and see before before getting into that i will as he said about me and i'm just going to say i'm an mba grad and doctorate in management and i have uh, having around three and three years in sales and marketing and 17 years of IT experience, like 5 years with HCL, 10 years with Technoendra, 2 years with Accenture. Now for the past 2 years, I am into internal journey, helping uh, people to start their own enterprise. My whole motto is like, learn, do, teach. So that is how like, you have to keep on growing. So that is how thing is. So hope uh, I am audible, I am loud and clear, my screen is visible, right? So I am assuming that if anything like you can discuss. So I want this session to be more interactive. Like what you do is like you text, uh, you cannot reply, you cannot speak, but you text it. Whatever I'm asking, if I'm asking some questions, please uh, be responsive to, so that I can understand what actually is going on. So that um, it will be more interactive. And after that, we'll have a Q&A session as well. Okay, thank you. Next phase slide. So let's get into the session. Actually, many of my friends, when I'm calling them like, um, being around 50 years, 15 years of experience, 20 years of experience, 
even in us all those things they see that yeah i am in us but i am in a survival life man i am just uh, paying my bills that is how it is so that is how the employee life is always there is that scarcity is always it's not about scarcity you can say more of a survival so entrepreneur why people are not taking enterprise because you say upward journey you have to wait for 2 3 years and then you have to work for it so that you can become that so people are not see people want everything to be immediate so that is the it is a human thing like human being normally think everything i want i don't want to get into any hurdles but life is with hurdles on life is for you to take chance how you are going to take the chance that is the whole purpose of life so how we are going to adapt that and you enjoy your winning and losing see you cannot see, always we are thinking that we have to win that is not possible first time right is not at all possible always you have to think on you have to win lose learn from it and move on that is how it is so that is what is the entrepreneurial entrepreneur journey is all about and i will be going detail about how to get into it so actually every one of our See, we are all human beings. We have a message, okay, and we don't know how to do that and how to see. We got to understand the message. What is see? Gandhi Ji has a message. Steve Jobs has a message. Everyone has a message. Napoleon has a message. But what I'm saying is, they understand the message and then they send it to the market or send it to the audience. So first thing you have to understand is message, market, media. Message is what for what we came. In. So what is the, our own purpose? We don't have. We don't call it as. know his message the doni who knows his message i think knows his message you don't know his message that is the main reason behind that we don't know our message that is the major reason we are we are not unable to proliferate or we are unable to spread the message so you should know the market who is the market? who is the market see it is not that like whole audience is the market even 100 people if they are following you that is a huge 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 market. uh thermal if you, uh, can you correct me like if i am uh, not audible or if i am yes definitely audible, definitely yeah, definitely yeah. i mean like i mean like just make it okay okay yeah. but so market is something like it's, it's not about the whole india whole country nothing like that it's even 100 people 1000 people are following you it is a huge huge community so what you got to actually do is you have to know the message and you should know what the who your market is and you should know the media how to uh proliferate your message okay and you have to build the movement around your community you think of like 100 people 1000 people see you think of we are 130 crores and it's not like this whole world is a number 700 people are so you just think of like you even language you are using you go for tamil telugu malayalam so that is huge huge telugu tamil telugu malayalam itself is 10 10 10 10 crores i don't know that that much we just know we want only we start with 10 people and then move build yourself 100 to 1000 people so that is so you have to build the movement around the community that is going to be so it's like it's, you just don't think of you just think of delivering the value don't think of uh, yeah. uh, whatever outcome see you just think of only delivering the value see you just think of this case itself i am going to deliver the value i am thinking of the audience your outcome how i want you to flourish like that in your in your career that is what the outcome i am looking for output obviously i'll be getting what our money part i am speaking of it's output definitely i'll be getting just think on that like <coughs> build a community and then build a movement around that is how you have to flourish and this is okay let us go deep in that what is your message which is i want you just there are you have different versions you you just think of like uh, uh from your childhood um, days around the, if you are 20 22 years so you have around 15 years of experience you learn only learning experience. you interact with people and you have different passions some uh, some may be post postman some may be uh, writer some may be uh, drawing uh, doing having drawings some may be musician not as what is what you are passionate about. you build up this is around your passion that will be better so pick that niche okay and pick your market and you uh, send the message through there are different mediums like facebook and something you can market yourself and so what first you got to understand your message that is the whole purpose so if there are major niches like which uh, people are willing to buy like health health is major major concern now in this corona time 
covid times like everyone is because before people were speaking only about the world now people are speaking about the world. relationship you know now everything relationship is a major guy so that is the major niche and career goal obviously everyone needs a career goal we don't know see yeah. every business there are a lot of chaos in the business also in this covid time there are a lot of business issues how you if you are a person if you have some business uh, you can can help the business how to do Now obviously the personal development if you have some scars these are all the niche that you can look at what i'm saying is see what i i cannot suggest a niche for you i cannot suggest a passion for you that you have to come that is the one see every one of us is unique we are all unique right so we have to get the niche that you have to speak on whether what what, what i can say is i guess i can say the all the things in the platter i can say the platter these are all the options available you pick the niche you pick your passion and you pick so then art arts and crafts you can sing singing drawing what's all so like it's a huge so you this is the first thing you have to think is what is the message you have to understand this that is the first one first of all first is who is your audience a lot of like So you you cannot um, address to every audience. It's like uh, there is a different thing. Whether it's students is your audience, also if it's audience, employees, old age, married couple. What is your audience? Who is your audience? You should understand. You should understand your market. So next is like first you uh, first thing is get your message. Then uh, where where you want to showcase your talent? Which market you want to address? Be very clear with that. Okay. Next is the market. Next is the media. So now I am I am speaking on more into online. If you if you are doing something in offline space, then you can always do that. I am not denying it, but I am spoke I am going to speak more on the online space. So how we are going to see? Obviously, you everyone like Facebook, Insta, YouTube, like you will be contributing. All the audience. Okay. okay. So you use this as a medium to spread your message. Next is there are two ways of spreading your message, right? Like platform dependent. It's like YouTube. You can see it's like you you have to depend on the YouTube, but you know there are many people who are doing great job in YouTube. Right? So advantage of platform independent is like there there is no need for a big market. Just give value and share it. So it's like but you have to depend on see your revenue is purely depend on YouTube. So YouTube normally changes a lot of things. Before at all it was like uh, for thousand views they are paying. Now it is ten thousand views. Now they are saying that uh, you have to. Uh, the audience has to watch in full time. screen time is more important so there are a lot of things like where you have to adjust if they change the rules obviously you uh, your income plan will be hit okay that is why is a platform different it is stand for many people right examples like you can say like madan gori and i am speaking more into some of the parent like people i don't know whether we will be getting into madan gori is he's a student maximum alive on the youtube we we'll take some free time yeah. and we speak on the Tell me this alone. I think uh, girls will be more interested and more watching and that. She speaks more about this thing or uh, her uh, house cleaning, all those things. As for Sinaraj, I don't know whether if if you are interested in astrology, you can think of like Sinaraj is speaking of all the astrological stuff like uh, sun affairs, your what sort of thing. You can get into fitness, yoga. You can. There are lots and lots of uh, YouTube channels are now going. You might have seen like in this two years time, you can see a huge chunk of uh, YouTube uh, channels are popping. And and see, you can see a million, million, five million, ten million. But what's happening around you don't know. So that is how like that kind of virality is happening in this situation. So if you have that kind of market, if you, if you uh, it's just uh, a matter of speaking before the screen. You just think that only as well. I feel people are thinking is like uh, before the screen they were afraid of speaking. That, that if you it's it's just a matter of practice. You just practice for five days, six days you will be speaking. If you are uh, too bad, then you must practice for one month. That's it. You can come out of that, uh, and then you can speak again. So. If you're speaking that way, if you are uh, not comfortable in English, go with them. So that is how you have to address. But there is a huge, huge, huge market. Here. Okay, it is platform independent. A platform independent is more of like uh, what actually you can do is you have a course or a message, like whatever. You develop a course around it, and what you are doing is you have to um, market yourself in Facebook or Insta or YouTube, whatever. And what you do is you bring them to your platform.
you might be having some website and post uh, platform wherein like you can uh, bring them there and then you can so the advantage of mainly platform independence is like um, you can say that you will your audience will be yours like there is no need for you to go with uh, youtube and okay but the disadvantage is like you need to pay for the money facebook or youtube you need to pay for so that is how like there are my like, gaming sites and see now ads and all coming in all the uh, gaming uh, channels all those things everywhere it's coming so everywhere you can advertise yourself and then make it form only main advantage is you can bring your audience to your own platform that is the advantage of platform so for getting all these things you have to be strong enough and you and you have to uh, very you have to be very strong so that you can face the audience face the customers face face the market so it's all like you have to do everything marketing sales service you have to do all alone or you have you can, you can have a friend scheme kind of and then you can do it along with them but what i'm saying is it's you have to be internally strong you have to first get you have to get convinced so main problem is see my father is a government employee he always say that uh, we uh, we uh, don't invest in shares so that is what so normally we are brought up with that so what i'm saying is don't go don't take risk but see see my father time is totally different our time is totally different and your time is totally different i'm in the second innings you are in the first innings. so see without taking risk nothing can happen today so you have to take great risk but at all that is all so for that uh, i will be helping you like how to be good how to be strong yourself by your internal game but and all you have to do be saying here first you have should have a goal okay you just think of i my goal is to help thousand people how to become an online so this is my goal so i am just saying me as an example so it is easy for you to um, get it i wish place how I, no i don't have anything any people now what i am how i am going to visualize i am going to visualize i am changing the lives of 100 people every month with my digital marketing You just think of like I will be. See, that is how like, everything like you have to be visualized. So everything can happen. You just think of uh, Olympic runner. He will be visualizing that I am going to be the world world runner. So that is how you have to visualize. Then things will happen. So it's like if you are if you are not convinced, how can you convince your audience? Okay, I'll be helping the society to become mainstream. That is the whole purpose. I believe. Okay, and I will create my whole purpose of the life is to help and entrepreneurs sustain. so that that is the whole goal my my uh, my goal is that and my i believe in doing that i want to do that for my life my goal is this this is for my lifetime goal. think on those lines you should have that firm thing you should be very clear on what your goal is so then obviously you will be so you should you know, first you get uh, what is your goal okay this is like you have to have the internal game see it's not that one day you can do you can you have to do it on a daily basis you have to have the morning rituals you just think of get up in the early morning 5 am 4 am think of it. see people are not doing see everyone is with in, uh, living in facebook uh, you know, sorry pubg so you should be different how you will be different you do your all these things you get up early in the morning do yoga do walking walking jogging whatever you like cycling or swimming whatsoever are looking for so that you will be very strong and you will be daily thinking about your goal and what is it? see it just think of and is it's not that only uh, triggering yourself so much it's all about like you should have that some passion like singing that also you got to see it's like uh, not only iq eq is more important okay and you should play also see playing is like whatever game you are in you just you should do it on a daily basis so that you you think you are there are three three components in the body eq iq DQ is like body question. That is the best. So the Sivara and Dhanu Chitra and the Muni Sarma. Yeah. So body is the index of the mind. So first you have to have a good body, and you have to have a good heart. Then you have to have a good brain. So all these things should be in unison towards the brain. Then obviously, so obviously you should have some spiritual spiritual thing as well. See, you should believe in God. It's not that everyone will be in the same position on this. so we think of like uh, mahatma gandhi you know mahatma gandhi by 60 you know abdul kalam by 70 you know uh, sachin at 90 so you know uh, dhoni at uh, 20, 20 24 so career is different for different 
So you should be like towards, you should be uh, having the faith on God and move forward. So obviously family you have to look at. So these are all the things, these, these, these things you have to do on a daily basis. And daily routine should be like, uh, again I mean repeating it, the internal game should be more on like this. And the external game is, you have to have, I will explain in detail as you go on. So before getting on that, like uh, EQ is more important. We are always concentrating on IQ. See, any organization, everyone is concentrating more on IQ. Nowadays, people are coming towards EQ as well. But what I'm saying is, you might have heard the story of Vivekananda with journalists, right? See, he's saying that he's speaking, uh, Vivekananda is asking, uh, querying the journalist more on things, and then he's saying that the journalist is saying a uh, lot of things, and then he uh, about father, he's asking about, uh, Vivekananda is asking about father, mother. And you are having only contacts, man. There is no connection. That is the reason behind this. So, like this, we don't have, we lost our heart over the decades. But our water some plants, you can see them growing, or you can see them uh, wagging their tail. That is going to give you IQ. So, uh, that EQ is more important. You should see empathy is more important. We are not empathized with, with the fellow beings or the boss or with the flower net. We are not doing that. So, that is more important. Right. Okay, then mind. So, there is a two mindset around it. Employee mindset and entrepreneur mindset. See, it's, it's a one degree shift actually. Employee mindset is something like, we always think of like, month beginning, you'll be getting uh, salary, and whole month, I'll be spending. Wherein, entrepreneur think that, I'm going to invest one next this month. I'm going to, end of the month, I'll be getting is a one degree because we just think of it's me and you seeing kind of it is one degree i'm seeing from the entrepreneur mindset you're seeing employee mindset. so everyone all the 96 99 percent of uh, iims even including iims iits everyone following are um, getting into the funnel like uh, <clears throat> employee funnels always they want to become employee of google employee of amazon but See, you just think of like um, Facebook or uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, everyone is dropped off. Because it's like it is an entrepreneur. Business. That is purely because of the enterprise. You know, do you know about the 820 rule? So if, uh, if a teacher is teaching, actually 80% won't teach. Only 20%. Even 20%, only in that 80-20. Only four actually excel in that. Even, even in that four, only one is excellent. So that is how 80 20 rules might be hurting, heard of her. So you just think of like, you have to have that mindset. You just change your mindset. Only a degree shift has to happen. Then only you can see things in a totally different way. See, if you go to a um, hill, obviously the view is going to be a bird view. So that you see, since we want always in the flatness, we don't want to climb up the hill. We don't see the good view. That is a major reason. How to condition the mind? So normally we will be concentrating more on the trivial things like serials, web series. So now all the distractions, all the distractions are there. We start the day with uh, beginning uh, with WhatsApp. So it will another 15-20 minutes you will be sitting with WhatsApp. WhatsApp. 15-20 minutes you will be sitting with uh, Facebook. So it's like uh, now before and all there is no lot of uh, <clears throat> positive energy. Now all negative energy. Around. It is very tough. I, I can understand as a student there are a lot of lot of negative energies around me. Excuse me. So, so how to success has see success? You just think of any success has to be earned. You cannot uh, get it. See, you are thinking. We are thinking always. Uh, uh, M. S. Dhoni is uh, he is lucky. Rajiv Gandhi is lucky. Nothing like that. They earned it. They did a lot of things. They worked for that. And then come, come here. We are it's just like that. We come and okay, they are they are having luck. One, I don't have any luck. It is not that. You have to put your body, mind, and heart towards it. Then it will happen. Just think of like, see, you you should do pranayama kind of yoga, whatever, whatsoever. I'm saying exercise, whatsoever. And you have to read, listen, record. So what I'm saying is, you should do all these things consistently. See, if at all you do maximum days, you will do for five days, and then you will leave. It's not that. You have to consistently do it, definitely do that. And healthy mind is more of like getting out of fear. Like, a lot of data is there. 
we should it's more of we are let's see uh, rather than faith we have more faith we are seeking looking at the failure of others and we are always like uh, desperate about getting things so we just think of like you should first thing is get out the negativity be very positive be more faithful by means of lot of things like uh, whatever good for you you just go ahead then do have how to release toxins you can say like inhale <clears throat> you might be knowing about the pranayama thing and then like those things you have to do and see your life span is based on the breath you take do you know actually not as a more life span why it is so you just think of we are actually uh, breathing uh, around uh, every we are taking 15 times a minute one minute actually if you are taking single digit 6 7 obviously your life span will be more so there are a lot of breathing techniques you can say anulom vilom astiga kapalvadi there are there are you might be seeing that and uh, if at all i can next uh, some other session i can help you getting into those uh, kind of uh, um, pranayama techniques or uh, those things but what i'm saying is there are a lot of things you can release toxins so there are a lot of you are taking in the toxins lot of negative energy you are taking how to release it first you have to be a good uh, you have to release all those negative energies then you will get a positive energy so five senses we are not at all using all the senses you see the cat or dog they see they are having the senses they know see yesterday it was raining heavily cat came to me and then he is sitting in my garden it knows before raining it so we are not using we are not using our ears we are we are using ear ears for uh, uh, keeping the headphones we are not at all using it see smelling itself is gone nowadays so see that that what i'm saying is it's like uh, you use all your senses keep the aroma with you keep your eyes and ears open that make you to see the world in a much different way habits like uh, reading listening is it and see you, you should have, first you should understand your goal and you should write that goal saying why i'm saying all these things this root is more important whatever you see is just uh, the outside thing you might be seeing iceberg no iceberg is just in top of the thing under that lot of things are there. so this is the basic root see how by means of the habit only you will have good iq bq it okay so what i'm saying is invest on yourself habituate daily so that you should get <clears throat> so you just it's your over diet it won't happen you should get habituated in your diet so You, and you have to have the physical activity like the, normally what you will you are always sitting and you, see whenever you are in the physical you just walk uh, have uh, take 10000 steps daily go get to park or whatsoever nearby lake or whatever just do that and that motion creates the motion you will understand you you will reach the goal fast so mental activity is thinking process create see normally that uh, uh, you people used to say that uh, brahma mugur 4:30 to 6 now it is a communication between you and god the god frequency and the your frequency will be tuned that time just do that as a daily basis those habits will make you reach the goal faster so so body is a temple like <clears throat> you have to have uh, work out physical activity as i said earlier see this is purely because of the to get the positive energy you should have good food see normally we are thinking stomach as the dustbin you put everything into it so it's not that you should take good food and you should breathe good see pranayama will uh, take all the toxins out so good water good rest rest is equally important you should go to bed at 10 and wake up at 5 you we'll go bed 9 wake up at 4 do this try to do this there will be huge difference and you will be feeling that that gray day is longer if you wake up at 4 o'clock and now the external game i'm speaking about what you have to do these are all internal games to be stronger okay so now i'm going to say how to develop a course okay so in any course you just first you understand your passion like that is your message then you understand your market then what you do is you develop a course around it okay and sell that through medium facebook or uh, so that is how normally you can do it as a digital marketing so what and all you got to know what and all skills you have to acquire the market research skills okay how to know the market 
understanding the keywords, understanding the customer pain points, using the right. So first, you, you should do the market research. As you all know, I are all MBA graduates, you know, there is the market research. And market skills. Marketing skills is social media marketing, blogging, Facebook, Google advertising, how you are. So, so, you, so once you research, you should understand the uh, customer, what customer actually need. Okay, then you market. Then you prepare a course or a product around it. Okay, and you market them through social media. And you have the sales skills. Okay, what you do is you should have that, um, you should know how to write the copyright in the social media. Maybe there are a lot of emails, how are you going to do that? And there are a lot of uh, communication, how to do, uh, maybe PPT, everything, everything you have to know. And how to write emails, how to do, how, um, how to write the sales letters. It depends on whatever niche you are Okay. And sales skills, how to convert, convert that. So like it's more of how to get connect with the audience, how to build the rapport, and uh, how to how to make people buy your courses. So that is more of a skill skills. And system skills is more of like emerging marketing, like uh, a lot of things are landing pages or uh, tracking systems. Those are all system skills. Till um, I'm going to say only brief about this in the session. If you want, I can uh, get into detail. In the later sessions. So, how to? Uh, it's like again. I'm, okay. How to plan your day? So, if if you are having that uh, for developing the product or the course, you should have a creative thinking hour, daily one hour, kind of, and a reading hour. Read some books so that you will get a lot of ideas. Listening hour. You just there are a lot of podcasts. Don't listen uh, whatever. Uh, um, uh, say that YouTube or no. It's not what I'm saying. See, whatever niche you are selecting, listen something relevant to the area. Maybe a lot of podcasts is now available. You can become a podcaster also. There are a lot of avenues available now. And content writing. You just write two pages daily. You just write something. Whatever comes to your brain, come to your brain, you just write it. So that will give you a huge idea of what actually your audience want and what your passion is on. Then you record that and you edit it. So you just plan this way so that you write anything. What I'm saying is, this initial day, initial first one month, it will be easy for you. Like, it will be tough. You just put yourself on the shoes on a daily basis. Then it will be easy for you to take. So what is niche actually? It's like denoting a related products, services, or interests that appeal to a small, specialized section of population. What I'm saying is, it's, it's the definition. Forget it. What I'm saying is, there is specific need for every population. Every audience, they need a specific need. You have to address that particular need. We just think of one particular audience, take some set of thousand people, maybe think of like uh, old audience. Now they are looking for diapers. So you just think of the particular need to select a product or select a course and address. So that it will be easy for her. So that is how you don't, you cannot serve every market. You have to serve a particular market. That is initial. So normally the bit, uh, so always you are thinking that I have to follow my passion, not necessarily. You should know the passion, but relevant to that, you can adapt yourself according to the market. So market need is more important than passion. Okay. And it takes time to find my niche. Nothing like that. What I'm saying is you just understand the market. See, what is the message? Before that, you understand your market. What is your market? Then you, uh, accordingly, you select your product. So it will be easy. I have to be unique, nothing like that. You can copy also. But there is every unique type of name. See, you just think of uh, Shevag is there. Shevag is also opening batsman. Sachin is also opening batsman. Dravid is also almost opening batsman. So everyone's style is different. Srikanth is also opening batsman. See, everyone is totally different. So what I'm saying is, you are unique. You can adapt other style, nothing wrong in it, but you have you have to add your own player. Definitely, it will, the, your own player will come out. I have to serve everybody and cannot go no. See, that is another thing. I want to serve everybody. You cannot serve because 700 crore people, 130 crore people in India. You cannot serve everybody. You, you understand your audience, you understand your community. There is too much competition in my There is no too much competition. There's too much people are there to serve. Okay. These are all the myths I'm speaking on. How to understand your purpose? So, what I'm saying is like, uh, why you join this course or whatsoever, so name and fame, make money, growing a mis business, active income, passive income, there are different, different purposes. So how to understand your purpose? 
you got to understand your purpose how to understand your passion or purpose so where do you see yourself how will you <clears throat> see it's like you have to be happy first you have to then see then obviously see if you are singing you just you have to happily sing then only audience will reflect on if you are singing uh, your uh, so sad and singing obviously nobody will listen to you, right so how do you want to see yourself how it will change your life you you have to have the passion see it will show in your face so if you are not convinced you cannot convince audience so how to understand your passion or your purpose how to find your niche how to find a topic is there any demand for this topic okay is there any profit for this topic so these are all like uh, <clears throat> is there any profit is there any demand for a topic these are all you have to think of so accordingly you have to find your niche so benefits like easy to develop a course so fi by finding the niche you can easily develop the course your course will help in solving people's problem so it should match like actually the market and the message should match your course will be in profit so that is how you have to select your niche and course three ways interest demand and profit that is those are all the three ways to find your niche so you can by for interest you can go for keysearch.co and demand for you can go to your search suggest okay you can see the demand what is the demand for the particular course or thing which is available profitable keyword keg is there so understand the profit okay these are all uh, sites to research in your topic Am I going fast? Am I audible? Am I visible? Yeah, you are visible to me. <laughs> and oh, uh, okay, okay, right. Ah, you can continue. Okay. You are visible and you are audible. I think so. Uh, guys, okay. for all uh, uh, listening to everyone, is okay, comfortable? Yeah, okay, sir. Ah, okay. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. You can you can uh, mute. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Ah, you can carry on. Okay. So major niches, I can say, I already said, like, I'm just repeating about health and wellness, make money online, relationship, career growth, business. Okay, these are the major niches available, which market is willing to pay. Okay. I'll go detail into it. Health and wellness, you just think of like problems, not all problems, weight loss, blood pressure, diabetes, stress, muscular pain. See, these are all the pain, actually, problems. The methods like you can do it, you can address that by yoga, meditation, mindfulness, healing, nutrition. So these are all the uh, pains of the customer. These are all the methods. So you should address any of the methods and address that pain. Okay. Then people is willing to pay. Just think of narrow down your niche, niche, sub niche, micro. Like you just health and wellness, sub niche is weight loss, micro niche is your. I'm just saying an example. You can take any proposal, any permutation combination. So make money. You just think of how to what all these things you can say. Stock money, stock market trading. You can say, or uh, investing. You can say stock market investing, affiliate marketing, consulting, coaching, network marketing, freelancing. Like, there are lots and lots of money. Make money niche. Okay, you can take anything which which you are good at it or market is looking. So again, the same way you can uh, narrow down the niche combination, micro niche. Make money in online stock market and investing. How to do that? So it's like you see, so it's like narrow. You have to narrow down your niche and okay. then relationship. Obviously, dating, marriage, sex, divorce, parenting. There are lots and lots of relationship issues. People are like you might be saying, I'm I'm getting a lot of uh, inquiries on uh, relationship. Yes, like my friends are doing a lot of relationship uh, coaching as well. because because nowadays. Before and all, marriage is like uh, there is no that much of diverse things are happening or all those things. But nowadays, all diverse is happening. A lot of mental agony for the people going there. A lot of things. Happening. And parenting is a major thing. Nowadays, kids are very, very adamant and very like shrewd and very energetic, and we cannot uh, unable to catch with them. So, a lot of things in parenting as well. So, a lot of things. Obviously, you'll be knowing more about the dating thing. So, I mean, like there are a lot of issues. Once you got to know having um, awesome bandwidth and all, people will be doing all and you never know. So that is a major thing to be addressed. And career growth. So you can say soft skills like leadership, time management, networking, problem solving, and hard skills like technical skills, maybe Python, whatsoever you can say in the IT space, subject matter experts like 
can become like specific software, maybe programming, a lot of hard skills. Student specific subjects. You can, if you are going for the schooling thing, then uh, maths, physics, chemistry, lots of, so that is a huge uh, opportunity there. And business growth thing. Now, they want, there are people who are looking for sales. They want to improve their sales. They want to do how to do marketing, how to brand themselves, how to do their operations. They, because they want help from, they want, they will be outsourcing that. Maybe there are start of, uh, start, uh, starting, uh, startups are coming up. They need uh, help in finance, industries. Also, so, you can, if you are in that space, or if you are having some expertise, you can learn that also, you can help them. Maximizer is one too much. So, it's like that way you can, uh, uh, so level one, level two, level three, level four. You can have that courses and you can, as they go along, you can help the people to work. And apart from that, these are all the things how to make the course. Okay. Then you can, along with that, you can have an affiliate marketing. So you can uh, also relevant to that. See if you are uh, in a particular niche, you can uh, along with that you can be selling affiliate products right in the market, uh, software products. See if you are into um, uh, maybe say digital marketing, you can say you can sell Canva as an affiliate product. A lot of things, lot of uh, softwares are there where you can sell help people. See because people are coming up, then you can help them doing. It. There is click funnels. There are a lot of uh, which is a landing page. Actually, you can be an affiliate and then you can help people how to promote. So you can promote any affiliate products. Then you might be seeing that uh, in YouTube also there are a lot of people that are promoting products. Okay, you will get commissions. That is that. But actually, it is not about getting commissions. You, you should you cannot promote every other product. If you are convinced of the product, you promote the to your community. So it should help them as well. So it should be like win-win for them. Okay, it's like. Uh, as a brand ambassador, people are getting money, right? As distributors, people are getting sales money. Like that, you will be getting. So that's what I'm speaking of. You, 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 you should concentrate more on the value and outcome for the audience. If you concentrate more on that, money will come. Forget it. What I'm saying is, if you, if it is not giving, if you, if it is not giving value or outcome for the, your audience, don't do it. So you have to be very clear on that. Okay. So advantage, obviously, online is awesome. Like particularly in this Corona, where people are understanding, like uh, the whole India market. Like it's like uh, it's not not uh, your state, uh, your um, location or something like that. You can market yourself across the globe, across India. Okay. Okay. You just think of like career options. You can say in lakhs. Okay, lakh per annum, one lakh per annum is available. Freelancer. See, this is how you have to uh, build up like one crore per annum. That sustaining. Entrepreneur is more of like ten crore per annum. Employer is more of hundred crore. Yes, that is opportunity. That is how you have to scale. You always think of like. First thing you can get into an employee, but what your ambition like should be an entrepreneur and an employee. That that should be your goal in your lifetime. If one of normally it's 80 again 80 20 rule you can say is employee most of the 80 percent fall into employee. Only 20 percent of uh, not 20 percent you can say it is 60 percent. I wrongly mentioned that. Okay, 16, 4 and 1. Okay. So it's not 4 and 1. 18, 15, 4 and 1. Freelancers are like uh, maybe there are a lot of people, media people are there, and they do freelancers, writers are there, even uh, all the cinema persons are freelancers, you can say. Actors are uh, freelancers. Okay. And yeah, entrepreneurs, that's why they are getting more money. But the entrepreneurs are getting more money. And then employees, that is so normally majority fall into that is why always the scarcity that says, I'm just living man, I'm just I'm not doing anything great. That is how uh, my friends used to speak on that. So normally whenever they say, oh, okay, it's it's going on even in uh, they are in US or UK, wherever it is, that is how employees and employee. Okay. Why? Because it's like we have to climb the entrepreneur. That no one wants to. Everyone wants to play in service. There is no there, there, there is no challenge, obviously. It will be a play in life. Okay. That is uh, so why I'm saying is like uh, as an MBA guys, there are a lot of options. Uh, for the IT career, so I am I'm not saying that you have to take only the entrepreneurship, you can take some IT career also, but you think of enterprising as you go along. Okay, so I'm just saying some hints about uh, uh, you can for the IT people, like particularly for the MBA, I just want to say, uh, like, one is Ajay. Ajay is an awesome space, which is the framework every project is following. Salesforce CRM is an awesome environment. Like, CRM space, if you want to get into Salesforce, is an awesome. and cloud. Cloud is like AWS, Azure is there. Like what I'm saying is if you are looking for cloud computing or something like that, everyone is moving into cloud. 
every CRM, every ERP is moving into cloud. So, yes, CRM, ERP are the awesome space for uh, uh, MBA people, and cloud is an another space if you want to get into. And big data, obviously, you know about it. It's more of a um, this cloud, everything Salesforce CRM is more of a transaction data. This is analytic data. Big data is an analytic data. And cyber security is a major, major area. And another thing is the Bitcoin, wherein blockchain, which is more of a decentralized uh, thing. Where uh, I am into, and I'm, I'm, I want to say, if at all you are interested in this space, getting into IT. Care. So, trading, if uh, you are looking, you might be hearing about a lot of things like stock trading, forex trading, commodity trading, gold trading, binary trading. This, and, and don't think that it is like uh, every IAM or every forward people are looking for the investment plan. There is a lot of scope in banking, which is more into money. Okay. And cryptocurrency is an awesome, awesome thing which is coming up. Where like uh, you have to do a lot of things, like uh, there are a lot of things avenues are coming up. If you want interest, you just what I'm saying is now everything is there in online, everything you can Google, everything in YouTube. You just think on those search on these areas where you can do something on this basis. So you just explore it. It's not that um there are it's, it's every every one of the topic is a separate space. It will. It is like a dense forest. You are going. You have to go dense into it. Obviously. So what I'm saying is, you have to explore and then get into. It. If you are interested, get into. It. Get into the passion. So these are all some celebrities. What uh, I can speak of Mark Zuckerberg. Everyone knows Elon Musk. See, we just they they come out of their comfort zone. That is the major advantage. Like whoever it is, you have to first adore them. Don't think that it is because of their the luck they come. Nothing like that. They put hard and hard efforts for minimum of 10 years of effort on a daily basis. They did it. Then only they got this. Okay. Then Jack Maya, there are a lot of kayas like uh, Vijay Malaya, Jack Maya, there are a lot of kayas also there. What I'm saying is, like that is what I'm saying. Once you go up, you have to be very careful. Because in the ethical, all those things, you have to be very clear with that. But what I'm saying is, it's not about it's a, it's a there are a lot of challenges. I'm not saying for them it is, there is no challenge. Even such a challenge, Tendulkar is having challenges. How, how to go next to the career? There will be challenges for second Tendulkar. Now, MS Dhoni is having a career challenge. Yes, challenge will be there. You, but, but see, when we are playing and doing our school days or college days, we enjoy playing. Now, we stop enjoying. We stop enjoying facing the challenges. Right? So, we just get into the child mode. Or kid mode, but in school mode, then obviously you'll enjoy the challenge and move on. So, two business models I can say is one is you, your product should be product or course or whatsoever you are developing. It's an Apple model. It should be awesome. Like, or what you do is profit in volume. Give it cheap and make it profit in volume. Serana stores model or one dollar one dollar shop model. Okay. These are two business models we can say. So uh, what Everyone will see whether it is a em um, employer with you, uh, looking for looking you for a job. Okay, if you are looking for a job, or uh, the employer will see what the value you are going to building. Whether you are an entrepreneur, an employee, or an uh, employee, whoever it is, what value you are building. That is what is more important. Whether MS Dhoni or um, Steve Jobs. See, people will see, audience will see what value you are building. So you concentrate more on the value. Concentrate on the outcome of the audience who is going to see. Okay. See, uh, see, think about it like, and you just think of, don't think of the, no need to think of the output. Money will come anyway. It has to come. It is a byproduct. Money is a byproduct. Forget about it. So you concentrate on the value, concentrate on the outcome for the audience you are going to offer. Okay. Um, this is the health wealth relationship permit. Okay, what you do is you have to consistently work on this, but we are not working. We are we just think of we'll work on the weekend kind of nothing like that. Kill daily, you have to have two tasks. Okay, two hours you have to work on weekly 10, 10 hours, early 500 hours. Okay, same way, wealth daily two, two hours, weekly 10 hours, 500 hours. If relationship, obviously, you have to speak with your kids, speak to parents daily basis. Okay. It's not that we can uh, do it on the weekend, nothing like that. Okay, if you work like this, just think of 500,000 people.
you have to scale. There is no other option other than not scale. Okay. You, have, you will be reaching the goal. One year, two year, three year further, you will definitely reach it. Okay. Have the goal. Okay. And work on it and a day comes. Simple formula. Ah, okay. Now, uh, now the one thing I want to say is multiple stream of Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to go to webinar. A uh, simple example I can say is, you see, nowadays uh, all job cuttings are going on, or laying offs are going on, right? See, rather than getting one lakh from one person, it will be easy for them to give also. See, that is how you have to look for multiple things, not one thing. That is the major issue, actually. That is why big things are. See, it is it is change. You have to adapt to the change. Okay. And uh, nowadays, like uh, uh, my father used to say, like uh, he what he will do is like uh, um, he will never maybe invest in stocks. He will never. He will say a stock market is an uh, issue, man. No, no, no. It's a crash. But Warren Buffett is in that area. He is awesome, awesomely investing, right? So what I'm saying is, not taking risk is the biggest risk. So in in my father's times, actually he will put in bonds. Everything is double in five years. Now nothing is like that. See, in in your area, in another two three years, banks are not going to give any interest. It is like US, okay. And there is no pension at all, okay. So you have to take. So not taking risk is the biggest. Risk. So you have to take a calculator. You just think of I am going to put ten thousand rupees. Assuming I will be getting one lakh. Okay, even if you are getting fifty thousand. Is a calculator. You have to take that calculator. So um, I can say is don't fall in nine to five funnel. Even if you fall, okay. Spend two hours daily towards your passion and work on it. So get your niche. Do this on a daily basis. Okay. This will help you to move up, employee, freelancer, and entrepreneur, employer journey. Okay. That is what I am speaking of. And human life cycle journey is. Uh, Seven hills. You might be, you might be seeing like in our, uh, uh, my um, grandfather and all used to say. Your grandfather might be saying that seven hills story. Uh, you have to cross the seven hills all the time. It's like this. Human life cycle is that way. There will be huge, and there is a fall, and a small hill. There is a fall. So that is how it is. Life is full of challenges. You just, I don't. I, there will be a plateau also. You just see the down line is plateau. See what I'm saying is we want only the down line. You don't want fall, high rise or fall. But even if you say that, you won't be that way. Right? It will be like this of seven hills. Four big hills will be there and three small hills will be there. You have to go up, then only you will cross the lake. What I'm saying, you have 120 years now. Every 30 years, you'll be say, facing all these things. Okay. So what I'm saying is you see it it, it, it varies from person to person when you start at Okay. 